This plush brand, I will never, ever, ever walk past again. Oh my goodness. Wait until you see these big money bolos. But I want to show you the top selling plush and I want to compare them to the ones we just looked at on Mercari. Are we getting the same results? Are they selling for more on Mercari or are they selling for more on eBay? Where is the best place to sell plush? Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. Okay, this is a video about an item that I had no clue about. I was researching for another video and I happened upon this brand. So I'm going to say the best platform to sell this plush on is this plush brand. I will never, ever, ever walk past again. Oh my goodness. Wait until you see these big money bolos. I had no idea. Now, I'm sure there's tons that are going to be bread and butter. I have sold this brand before, but I will always be taking a closer look from now on. And if I see them at the bins, the Goodwill bins, where everything is super cheap, it's $1.89 a pound, I will be picking them all up just in case. All right, let's get started here. I'm about to knock your socks off with this one. I'm telling you what, I just could not even believe my eyes. All right. So have you guys heard of Webkins? W-E-B-K-I-N-Z. Webkins. So if you ever see the chocolate milk cow, oh my goodness, you need to pick this guy up. <laughs> so they're by Gans and they have this little thing on the foot right here. And you're going to notice I am in Mercari. Um, that is because I have found, and I'm going to show you, actually, we'll talk about this a little bit later, but um, eBay was giving me a little bit of a problem when I was trying to look up solds. So um, I've been doing Mercari and Poshmark solds also, especially on plush. And we're going to talk about that in a little bit. You can see the GANS tag right here. All right. So this Webkin's Milk Cow sold for $800 plus shipping. What I really like about um, looking up comps on Mercari and Poshmark, the item, you know, it's sold. With eBay, you just don't know. You got to check feedback. You got to try to see if they relisted it. Mercari and Poshmark, it's a done deal. <laughs> if they buy it, they buy it. So we've got this Web Webkin's Sweet Spice Cat. And this one says new with tags. Okay. So, um, and it looks like, see, sometimes this is where it gets you. They will add in, I think this one might have the sloth with it. And Panama sloth with unused codes. Okay. So it's okay to put unused codes. See how the code is still sealed and you will know it's still sealed because you see this little tag, um, hang tag right here. This, I forget what it's called. The little plastic piece that hooks into it. You can tell that it's been shut and this little thing has never been taken out. All right. So here again is the webkins on the foot. But what's incredible about these, they tell you the name of the item on the tag. All right. So that makes it really easy to look up. Um, I personally, if a plush, if I did not buy it brand new from the store, I will typically put pre-owned with tags. That is what I do. Um, let's see. Uh, I don't see anything, but it does look like they added the sloth into this, but they did not put it in the photo. I do recommend you guys that if you bundle something on um, Mercari that you do add photos of both items. I think that could get you into a item not as described if somebody wanted to. Um, so anyway, this sweet spice cat. And I have seen that one go for big money in other areas too. So stay tuned for that. Here's another one of the cows. No code on this one. That means it does not have the tag. But again, it's got the webkins on the foot. And I can make this bigger for you guys also. And also you see chocolate milk cow right here on the tag. 
All right, the next one is this Webkin's Narwhal. Um, this one sold for $513. And you can see this is probably a hobby reseller. It says selling to get the AC in my car fixed. Uh, they don't have a great background. It's just sitting on their bed, which is fine, you know, to each their own. But you're going to find that this will happen more on Mercari and Poshmark because there's a lot more hobby sellers. But the Narwhal is definitely a big money bolo. Here is the Webkin's Chocolate Cow again. This one sold for $500. Just crazy, right? For this cow, this cow. Here's another cow, no code, $500. Like this is not a fluky thing. And this one even has writing on the tag. If you guys get a stuffed animal that has writing on the tag, you can still sell it. Just make sure you disclose it and put a picture of it, all right? Any defects, any issues, put a photo and put it in the description. That will protect you. Look at these huskies. Now, one thing that I did notice on these, are these huskies? Yeah. Husky and Timber Wolf. This is the Webkin's signature. This one is a different type of tag. I've not seen this tag before. Um, so I don't know if these are a higher dollar brand. I don't know if they're bigger, but definitely do your homework if you see any Webkin's out there. It looks like the signature on the Paul is different. So definitely something to be mindful of. Let's see if I can get back out of here. Oops, it took me all the way to the back. All right, so those sold for $460 um, and the buyer paid shipping on those. The next item right here is this Webkin's Signature Arctic Fox. So this again has that special tag. It's the Signature Series. So these may just go for more, not 100% sure. But lots of photos, always recommend that, $450. Here is, looks like they got it straight from the thrift store and took a picture in their car. Oh my goodness, check it out. Look at this. Okay, this is another uh, Webkin's uh, signature, Siberian Husky. And this one sold for $400. The next item is this Webkin's Jolly Holiday Puppy. New with tag and unused code. Super rare, hard to find plush. Now this one just has the regular Webkin's tag. And you can see here how it, now this one has a bow around it, but I think the little tag, the hang tag right there is still going through it, the plastic tag. And you can see that you can't open this when that's in there. And again, you've got the brand here, the Webkins, where is the Webkins on this? This one, it's on its tush. So usually the placement of that is on the foot, but I guess it does range. And I am not an oh, expert in these. I have never sold one of these for big money, but I hope to in the future. That is 100% for sure. So that one is the Holiday Puppy. Here is the Gingerbread Puppy, and it sold for $400. That one's on the foot. Gingerbread Puppy right there on the tag. And if they have plastic eyes, one thing that you want to do is if the eyes are scuffed in any way, you want to make sure you take a picture of that and disclose it because people that collect these, they want to know that. Um, also, when I uh, ship, if I ship in a poly mailer, um, a padded mailer, I cover the eyes with extra bubble wrap. Now, if I have a four or five hundred dollar plush, it's probably going in a box. But for your cheaper plush, um, I I have no problem using a bubble mailer for those. Here is the Webkin's Cheeky Dog, new with tags, sold for $315. And there is your little tag. See, four photos. If it were me, I would be taking all sides, top, bottom, especially if you're in this price range, anything that is a, a big money bolo, lots of pictures, lots of pictures. Doesn't take that much time to click a few extra pictures. Webkin's Cheeky Dog with tags, unused code, super rare, plush is what the title says. Look at the curly hair on this one. It is so stinking cute. And this one sold for $300. So you guys are probably thinking, is this a fluke? Like what's going on here? Let's keep going. And I'm going to show you some other platforms, okay? Webkin's Rascally Raccoon. This one sold for $304. 
It is stinking adorable. And right here, you've got the tag and it says eight and a half inch. And yeah, just big money bolos right here. $304 for that one. This one is the Cheeky Cat. It seems like the items that say Cheeky on the tag seem to do good. So definitely keep that in mind. Webkin's on the foot. This is also more of the blue tag. And you can see the Gans Tush tag here. This one sold for $300. This is the Webkin's Baker Squirrel Monkey, new with tags and unused code. Again, I would say with original tags... Uh, this one, I mean, it's got this tag on the front. It definitely looks new. I don't know what year it's made. A lot of times I will put NOS, which stands for new old stock. But um, to me, again, if I didn't buy it at the store and, you know, that's something that you kind of have to use your, it, it's up to you. You know, it's completely up to you. That's just what I do. Like if I pick a plush up at the Goodwill Benz, it's obviously pre-owned. I, I wasn't the original buyer. So that's what I do. Webkin's English Cream Retriever, new with tags, unused code, super rare, hard to find. This one sold for $300. Now, this person quite possibly could have bought these at the store. They are the original owner. They sat them on a shelf and never played with them. And they would be new with tags. So I have no idea. This one sold for $300. So again, anytime you can find an animal that looks like somebody's pet, those are usually going to go for a higher dollar amount because people are looking for those. This one here is a Webkin's Red Velvet Fox with tag unused code. These seem to be all the same seller. So maybe they were a collector. And again, like I said, bought them at the original store because, man, they have a lot of high dollar ones. $300 on this one. This is the Webkin's Love Giraffe. Same thing. Looks like the same format as the other one. Yep, Pretty Kitty Sales. And this one sold for $250. So just incredible, right? Okay, here's a different seller. Webkin's Panama Sloth, new with code. And this one sold for $250. I wish I could see right here what it says. I wonder what it retailed for. This one is a Webkin's Bloodhound Pup Dog. Again, Somebody who has a bloodhound dog is probably going to want to pick this up. This one sold for $250. And this little cutie right here, she is the love puppy with unused code. So that would be a good thing. Um, rare Webkins, new, well, they did put new. So, and that's a different seller as well. So definitely, definitely these can be a bolo for sure. The next item, oh my goodness, it's so cute. You know who would want this one is Donatella Bottolino. This is the kind of dog she has, and this kind of looks like her new puppy she got. This one is a Webkin Signature Australian Shepherd. Oh my goodness, $222 for this one. <gasps> it's so cute. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. It looks like Gypsy. Okay, the next item is this super rare zombie pup. You know who would like this one is Zombie Bargain Hunter because he loves zombies. <laughs> Check it out. Only going to cost him $181. I wonder if he's ever come across one of these before. So Zombie Bargain Hunter is a YouTube channel that sells mostly plush. He is a plush bolo finder. So $181 on that one. All right, let's go over to eBay and take a look at, um, I am in Webkin's plush and I am searching highest to lowest. And I'm just going to show you, um, again, I'm not going to go in and verify all of these, but I want to show you the top selling plush. And I want to compare them to the ones we just looked at on Mercari. Are we getting the same results? Are they selling for more on Mercari or are they selling for more on eBay? Where is the best place to sell plush? Okay, so we've got the Siberian Husky. We don't know what offer was accepted, but we know that um, they started it started the item at five hundred. Here's the Timber Wolf. It sold for three forty four. And again, I am not verifying these like I normally do. We are just going to scroll to see if we're getting a matchup. Uh, the Arctic Fox two fifty five. Arctic Fox two fifty. Here's the Pup, the Holiday Pup two fifty. Um, I can't. Let's see which. I want to find that holiday pup over here. Where is it? 
I think it went for more. It went for 400. So it went for 400 on Mercari and it went for 250 on eBay. But it had the code. It did have the code on Mercari. So that probably increased the value some. This Timberwolf, uh, 249. So all of the Huskies, the Wolves, everybody, um, all the animals in that family seem to be the high dollar ones. Here's the gingerbread puppy, no code. And then we had the gingerbread puppy over here. Um, that one was right here. It went for 400 also, but it they were calling it new with an unused uh, tag. So this one is pre-owned. So 225, 400, big difference. Now here's one we didn't see on Mercari. This is the dodo bird. And it's a rare also, no code, sold for 205. Here is the Australian Shepherd, no code. And the Australian Shepherd over here, I don't think, let's see, did this one have the code? This one had a cute bow in its hair, but it did not have the code either. It went for 222 on on Mercari and 200 over on eBay. So pretty close. Another Husky, 199. This one is a reindeer, uh, 200. I don't know if that was a fluky thing or not because I don't have any comparable on Mercari. But the fox, the husky, the wolf, look for those. Here's another cheeky. Now, the cheekies seem to do better over on Mercari. The cheekies were getting much higher than 175 over on uh, Mercari. So we've got the fox, the fox, the wolf, another cheeky right here. But I just want to show you guys what people are looking and what they're spending on these webkins, these Gans webkins. So let me know in the comments, did you know about it? Look at the German Shepherd. So anything that is realistic or reminds somebody of their pet, definitely look at this little golden retriever. So cute, 125 with 22 bids. Okay, now look, Webkin's brown cow. I don't know if this is the same brown cow, but this one only went for $124.99. Is this the same cow? Let's see, that one has a pink nose. That one has more of a brown nose. So I think this is a different cow. But if you find, I guess, any Webkin's cow, look it up. Here we've got the love puppy. It looks like there's two of them. And they do range in size. So here's the zombie dog. So yeah, lots of Webkin's to be on the lookout for. And then, of course, you can always lot them up. I just sold three frogs on Poshmark. And I lotted them up and sold them like as a little family. They were super, super cute. But look at this. This is um, American Black Bear. Unused code. I mean, so many that sell for over $100. So now let's go over to Poshmark. And here we have the Golden Retriever sold for $250. These are the signature series, okay? The Wolf, $138. Another Wolf, $138. Uh, this one is a short-haired German pointer plush. So again, we're getting very specific on a dog brand. That one sold for $125. We've got another wolf. We've got this plum fadoodle. <laughs> that one sold for $86. Uh, another golden retriever, a monkey. We, we did the monkey on the other one, but I think they called it a squirrel monkey. Look at the calico cat right here. This one sold for $62. So I'm going to say the best platform to sell Webkin's plush on is Mercari. So if you guys are not on Mercari, I would definitely, definitely consider it, especially if you're selling plush. Um, I do have a link down below. If you join with that link, you're going to get $10 to shop. And then once you sell $100 worth of items, you're going to get another $20 to shop. So the referral code is down in the description. That's just like a nice little perk bonus for you guys for using my link. And then they also give me a credit to shop. So I appreciate it if you guys do use my link. Now, uh, Poshmark, same thing, referral link down below. You'll get $10 to shop. And then they also give me $10 to shop once you buy something. So just signing up, I don't get anything. But if you do buy something, I do get a, um, I get that $10 to shop. So thank you guys so much. Anytime you guys use my referral links and stuff down in the description, that really helps me out and I really appreciate it. But what do you guys think about this? Are you like in shock? Did anybody know about this? Am I the only one that did not know that Webkins can be a big money bolo? How many of these have I walked past?
Oh my goodness. All right, you guys, thanks so much for being here. Leave me a hat emoji or just write the word hat down in the uh, comments. Thanks for watching.